Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sneaker Shopping Therapy. Today we're going to hit the outlet, going to hit up Taplo, see what they got. Hopefully they got some heat in there. You know what, it's getting harder and harder, especially in the outlets, to cop some fire, to cop some heat. So you know what, we're going to have a look. There may be absolutely nothing worth copying, but we will see. After that, I've got an unboxing because I sent the wrong package to the wrong address. Managed to go and pick those up today, picked up the shoes and we'll unbox those so that's also to come yeah so keep watching like comment and subscribe definitely hit up that comment section let me know how you're feeling let me know if you're feeling these shoes i unbox as well because i think they're fire i don't know how you feel but definitely man let's go let's get to it Farm posits man. Um, pick it up. 25, but yeah, I mean not a bad price. I'm definitely not a fan of farm posits and definitely not a fan <laughs> of the lows either man. But hey if you like them I love them. Yeah man, the more is still available. 79 with an extra 30% off. Definitely do you know what I think for that price with the extra off a dope shoe definitely still one to cop and um, I've got a pair of these I do like the supreme version though if I can still get hold of those I may cop those at some point Kyrie's on deck um, yeah man still a dope shoe I do like a Kyrie it's a nice low that's right bro <laughs> I think there's still a bit too much to pay for the car reader, even with 30% off. Bro, these are straight fire. These are straight fire, bro. They made these in men's sizes. I would definitely pop these, man. These are straight fire. These are straight up fire. And look, and because they're GS, look at that, bro. 38 bucks, 38 pounds. Definitely straight ass fire, right? Are these the most dopest futures ever? I don't know man, I think they are. It's a 13 little soul. I think that's dope. I think these are fire. I think these for a future, these are probably the best Jordan futures I've seen. Absolute bargain. I mean in the kids' sizes. Yeah, definitely straight bar. Glasses that dope, fire. So reduced, only to 102 though, so not a bargain. These are quite far though. Again, 95 premiums. Man, these seem to be everywhere, these Odysseys, man. If you've got the anniversary ones, I couldn't cop the anniversary ones, and you know, you want to look like anniversary original AMX ones, then these are there for you, man. For 60 quid or 59 quid, I still wait for those to hit the back wall, man. You know what I mean? If they hit the back wall, then I'll cop. Yeah man, so we managed to get to the outlet, had a look around, there wasn't much to cop, so you know what I mean, we're going to kind of go home, do the unboxing and have a look at the shoes that we did manage to cop already and get them unboxed man, so hold tight, let's get to it. Hi right, guys, so we're finally home and yeah man, we've got another box from Nike, so let's get that opened and see what we got inside man i think it, did i put it in the description i'm sure i did if not then you know what if i did then you know what i'm gonna be opening man um as i said i always like to show where i get my shoes so just let me cover that up um, and go straight from nike nike receipt and uh, usual tracking stuff in there load of trash let's go and have a look man so standard pretty much Nike box and when we have a look inside pretty much standard yeah and as we can see my size there 
Um, these are in, I believe, a UK 10.5. Yep, they are. And I think they're women 13. Cool. But these are absolutely fire. Nothing much inside. Usual sort of shenanigans inside the box. And we're really interested in the shoe. So let's have a look, man. Because these are really, really incredible. Check these out, baby. Check out these. The Nike Air Atmos 2s, man. Um, these are absolutely fire. Do you like the colorway? I'm going to be 100%. This patchwork is kind of mad. And it's kind of got this plastic which is above the shoe as well that kind of holds into it stitched is that stitched into it that's stitched into the actual shoe man that is crazy all here is like a plastic cover over the shoe do you know what i wish all shoes came with these plastic covers because hey would i need crep protect if i've got this shoe man really really nice tongue as well i think that's quite dope inside um is quite yeah i mean it's quite bland there's nothing much in there uh kind of just shows the insole uh with the nike air stuff nothing really fire in there worth looking at to be honest it's the production date on these the production date is 10 04 18 to 01 07 19. wow quite a long production date I'm gonna be quite honest it's quite long but yeah man these have definitely got a lot of detail in them they got sort of like um you know these bits here which are like stitched a stitch swoosh and then you've got the leather swoosh on this side and then you've got like a kind of molded plastic swoosh that runs under here which is quite bizarre there's a lot of swooshes on this it's got a lot more detail when you look at the shoe, man, but it's very, very bright, very, very colourful. But as you know, that kind of patchwork kind of look is coming back. Reminds me of the early 80s, you know what I mean, uh, in, in its style. But definitely, I like the colours as well, the laces. Orange seems to be the flavour of the month. So let's go and have a look at the other shoe. Um, and just can have a look at that one as well. Oh, wow. So yeah, man. So here's the other shoe here and we get this spare laces we get a yellow pair a luminous kind of yellow that is really bright as well and the purple pair and these again come in yeah you know i mean look at how they're bagged just in case yeah you know i mean someone tries to slip you the old mickey finn um yeah you know i mean so a wrong one you never know bro and look at that that's absolutely dope bro absolutely fire absolutely dope i'm just gonna get let you guys have a good look around that shoe man I don't think that, I'm not going to say there aren't any fakes on the market, but as you know, if there aren't any, there will be some, right? Um, and there are probably pairs out there. I haven't had a look as yet, but definitely keep an eye out uh, for the hook, uh, as they like to say, because you never know what's coming from across the water. This is kind of like plastic right there. And then we have the night stitch stuff just there. So it's stitched under there. And again, if we turn it around, we've got the leather. Then we have one stitch down there and more in bow stuff. But I like the Nike bit on the back as well. Look at that, nice little tick. Like you can tell these are Nike by now. Like if the people see these on foot, they're definitely going to be looking at this shoe for sure. This is definitely a statement shoe. It's not one that's gonna miss anybody. No one's gonna go, well, I wonder what he's wearing today. These are Nike Air Max 2 Lite QS Atmos. Um, so these are pretty much fire, pretty much dope. I saw these, I definitely wanted to get my hands on them. Definitely wanted to cop, yeah you know I mean? I'm thinking more about the summer than anything else. Resale value, there's not much in the way of resale at the minute, because yeah. there's a lot of pairs from what I can see and a lot of people were copying the 14. So we see YouTube videos, loads of them with the 14s in play rather than these. So definitely keep an eye out for these. These are absolutely fire, absolutely dope on feet. If you're into that patchwork look, I know Supreme did a drop with patchwork. Know that Sample and Tony D Wild dropped a patchwork look. So definitely check out his site. I've 
you know what I mean? Go back in one of my old videos if you need the link. In fact, I'm gonna put a link to Tony's site down below. So if you wanna cop some stuff from Sample in the patchwork to go with these, because you're not too sure about the Nike patchwork stuff they're dropping, because I think they've got like a shell suit or something like that, and you wanna cop something slightly different, then definitely check out Sample's patchwork stuff down below. I'll put that in the description. Definitely worth checking out. And then, you can flex these as hard as you like. I really dig this shoe. Definitely a different shoe to the normal kind of Nike Atmos that we kind of get. Got it on a shoe that's not really getting a lot of love. So it's nice to see that Atmos are bringing a bit of love to the Air Max 2s, man. The Air Max 2s don't get a lot of love out here, but this is definitely some love in that way. And it's nice to see that Nike are trying to get collaborators to kind of do collaborations on different shoes, man. You know what I mean? So we get a different flex, a different shoe, and kind of, yeah, I like them. You know what I mean? And Air Max 2 is a definitely dope. I, I'm definitely liking this silhouette. Um, definitely going to keep my eye out for a few Air Max 2s out there as they come and as they drop. So I think that it's definitely worthwhile copying these Air Max 2s. They're absolutely fire. Yeah, I mean, there's not, all right, they're not the Air Max 1s, right? We know that they're not the Air Max 1s, but it's definitely a really, really bright, colorful shoe and definitely worth the cop. So for me, loving this as a cop, definitely will wear these at some point. Don't know when, because as you know, I've got a lot of shoes, man, to get through. So you know what, guys? Thanks for watching another episode of Sneaker Shopping Therapy.